So up guys, I'm gonna show you a really good game I had today against a really good bloke named Nick. It's about my age and he speaks like this. He's a good bloke. Anyway, he's playing the white pieces and starts off with this. So yep. Challenging. Now, if I take, he opens the H file. Defending this square. Alright, bring peace up. No trade. And here. Trying to get more protection. So, yep. A3, bolstering, and now I decide to break. Well, it's got to be scared of a push, but mainly I just want to trade and get the C file. Alright, he's getting space. Yeah, so now I really want to open the C file. And also protecting this square again. Because a knight jump is a problem. In here. Now he's really threatening a break, and yeah, I don't like the E4 break, I think it gives him just way too much of a center, so I take, and he can either bring his knight and it gets pushed, take with the C pawn and I get the C file, bring a rook down, or what he did is take with the E. And now um, he's not threatening e4 anymore, which is nice. However, he is threatening to bring the knight in here. Because now knight takes, queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes, knight. Um, yeah, he's got a space advantage. With a pawn on e5, he doesn't have to trade queens. He just gets a really big center. And I decided to take drastic action to stop that. So I did this. So now I'm defending the square enough. Cause yeah, the threat was knight, then f4, and then the other knight comes and gets a strong center. However, this does open up the queen to attack my knight if his knight moves. And he wanted to punish me, so he played this. Now there's a few problems. One, I gotta solve my knight. Two, he's looking at um, sacrifices. If you notice, knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes is a check. My king has to move, I can't castle. Maybe pieces get in the attack. There's a few different things. He's attacking this square um, three times. I'm defending it once. So I gotta solve my problems. Spent a while and I came to play this. My queen protects along the seventh rank and I'm defending my knight. So here he thought for a long time and his continuation to the attack was this. Pawn's pinned. So this is a crisis moment for me. But I had a move and it was this. So now I'm asking his bishop, well, are you going to do it? Are you going to sacrifice for two pawns? And it was really unclear, the sacrifice. So he went back. So this was a bit of a victory for me. And here I had to think of something because um, I looked at all my moves and... There's not much to really do. And he's threatening to bring his bishop in and check. However, I noticed a bigger threat in this position is a5. Because if I take or push, he's got the c5 square. And um, a knight can get into there. And if a knight comes into c5... 
my bishops getting attacked and this weak pawn is getting attacked again. So that's a beautiful square for the knight. So I decided the best prevention was to do this. And that really slows a push. I thought that was the biggest threat. So it's his turn now. And he couldn't find anything. So he played this, passing the move to me. And at this point, I noticed pretty much every move I can do is weakening to my position. If I move my queen off this file, this pawn can, or this pawn can push because this queen is keeping this pawn here. So, like if he goes b4, my queen takes c3. Right, so I gotta keep that open. So, my idea of playing bishop to f, no, to c6 is out, blocking this. And also, if he does check here, my bishop can't block anyway, because, hmm, Oh, I can now, sorry about that, yeah. I was thinking there. But yeah, I can't block my queen. So my bishop can't really move. It's in its best spot. I didn't want to move either one of my rooks because I wanted to keep the option of castling either side. My knights um, can't really move. This knight is keeping this safe. So that's a defensive piece. And I'll keep my king here. So therefore, the only move is actually a really strong move. It was the last move I looked at. Now this move, like he thought for ages on this one because this move is like really a big deal. If he takes, I take we check and I'm going to win his knight next move. So he can't take, that's out. Um, I'm threatening to bring my pawn in and fork his pieces. Yeah, and if it gets to e5, I've got to clamp on his position or I can open the c file, which is really good. So he played the check, which is logical. And here is where. I made the critical mistake. I could have moved my king to f8 and that I think would have been okay. Blocking was alright but king f8 was probably the best move. There are a few ways to block it but I um, did this and well, after a while, he did a move and it was pretty much over. He did this. Now, he's won my knight. I can't take because queen takes knight with check. And um, my king has to stay on the back row and he wins my rook next. So, that's out. What else? If I push the pawn... He just moves his queen and the threat still stands. Or here. He's just going to be up a piece. Mm. There's pretty much nothing to do here, so I just made this move. Trying to win something. So, he just moved his rook back. And I took with check. And he played this. And what to do here? I just took another pawn. He takes back. And the game went on, but from here, I was just down a piece, so that's all I'm going to show. Like, that was where the blunder happened. So, yeah, that wraps up my interesting games of the tournament.